that A, we now know the disease exists, which we did not know up until about 15 years ago. And there is a slowly but steadily increasing number of doctors who are developing uh, awareness and familiarity with this. And we're slowly developing a better understanding of this. And there's already, even though we've only known about it for 15 years, we've already got a boatload of drugs that are helpful in various mast cell patients. And most mast cell patients will live a normal lifespan. So they got plenty of time to go trying all these different options. And in my experience, most people who have this disease, if they and their doctors are patient and persistent and methodical. I know a lot of people out there have heard me beat on this drum a million times. You're sick of hearing me say it again, but I keep saying it because it's true. Uh, that if, if the doctor and the patient together are patient, persistent, and methodical in stepping through the trials of these various drugs, most MCAS patients really do, sooner or later, piece together some cocktail of mast cell targeted treatment that actually does get them doing significantly better than their pre-treatment baseline. And you got exhibit A right there on your screen in front of you. Uh, so just yeah. wave, so, wave, wave at everybody, Kia, that's you. I, well, I, a lot of people are frustrated because they don't have access. Like we don't have that uh, a bunch of specialists and wait lists are long and it costs a lot of money because insurance sucks and all this, I can say things that Dr. Afrin can't, but <laughs> um, it does. I it agree. Does. I mean, and, and there are reasons for that. And we're, we're all on the same team trying to make it better, more accessible. But I was in that boat. Dr. Afrin left Minnesota and I was like, uh, because of it, of clinic issues, but, and, and my clinic stopped treating all mast cell disease patients. So hundreds, if not thousands of mast cell disease patients no longer received care. I no longer could get care. I found a primary care doctor willing to work with me. She did not know about mast cell disease. She had heard of Dr. Afrin. You know, she didn't know all the mediators. We learned together and we tried medications together. When she could not prescribe certain medications, such as like infusions, we she gave referrals to oncologists, hematologists to provide those medications. And again, I connected, I networked with other Minnesotans with mast cell disease. And there's lots of us because we're diagnosed and we know how to advocate for ourselves now. And so that is as much of my journey as Dr. Afrin. As much as I would have loved to have Dr. Afrin by my side the entire time, for me, that was just not feasible living in Minnesota with very few resources. And I worked with one primary care doctor. Another thing that made it very successful is I was one of her only complex disease patients. So it can be very hard when a doctor is inundated. That's a lot of times when do doctors like Dr. Afrin get inundated in clinics and then there become issues with, you know, logistics and, and, and that's kind of what happened in Minnesota. There was, it, we were inundated with all of the, like so many people needed help. So if we can, you know, teach more willing physicians about mast cell disease and work with them and be kind and courteous towards them and, you know, like not spam their offices with every question, even though your body is probably sending you a million signals, um, prioritize them. It is possible. And there are people that, that do want to learn because they understand, you know, this is, this is a, a growing health condition 